morning everybody Saturday here today uh, some gray skies and there's some serious humidity out here it's really no avoiding it no matter how early I went out so we're going out for a seven mile run now I'll kind of recap the rest of the training I had this week it wasn't very eventful no track workouts or anything like that a couple days where you just picked up the pace a little bit so we'll go through that uh, talk about it a little bit but mostly for now just gonna get this seven mile run in and uh, really not looking forward to it with the way it feels outside in the humidity but we'll see how it goes it'll be a little hilly I'm not gonna take the time to drive anywhere today so we're just gonna go right out up and down the rolling hills over the bridge I think and um, we'll get it done so we'll head out now So tomorrow in the training block I have a 14 mile run um, and I have a feeling it's going to be just as hot and humid as it is right now. So for today I'm taking it pretty easy. Um, I'm going to be on kind of a hilly route and I just, I just don't want to burn out and uh, cut into the quality of tomorrow's run. So pretty low heart rate right now around 130. Just trying to keep it as slow as I can but still you know be running. Uh, I'm at about 10 minutes a mile right now so the humidity is definitely way up there even though I'm taking it easy I'm sweating a lot already and I can feel the humidity just impacting how my body feels um, for anybody who's newer to maybe a Garmin watch or maybe even another fitness watch uh, ignore the training status on your watch as you go into the summer especially like for me I just came out of a streak of a couple of cool days or cool weeks in the summer so my watch tells me oh your you know your fitness is increasing your overall running ability is increasing and then you hit a hot humid day like this and all of a sudden your watch is like you're overreaching negative effects of your workout you know poor performance don't worry about it it's gonna happen as you go into the summer uh, if you go into any particular days that are hot and humid so just stick to what you're doing trust your body a day like today for me is uh my watch is just telling me oh you know really poor performance but obviously my body didn't change that much from last week to today so you just gotta take it for what it is uh, yesterday my, molly seidel won the uh or came sorry came in third but the third woman to win a medal in the Olympics for the marathon, so awesome job there. I have to harness some of that energy for this humid long day and tomorrow's long run since it's hot and humid in Sapporo for the Olympics. So we'll keep going, but it's definitely brutal as far as humidity and uh, we'll just keep pushing through. So we've turned around right up here before. Uh, it's like the end of the footbridge for the path itself. But today we're gonna have to go another half mile down on the road just so we can get to seven. Uh, as you may have seen before, it's about six miles for me if I go to the end and turn around back to my place. So just have to do a little extra half mile, which adds a little bit more of a hill getting off the bridge, but we wanna get seven in today. So we're just gonna do it like that.
on the road off the bridge behind me and just gotta finish this little mile extension, half mile out, half mile back to the bridge. Coming back down off the bridge now, uh, feeling pretty good. Uh, we're about to get to, I think, five miles. So, you know, my legs opened up, my body adjusted to the temperature and the humidity, and we're just cruising along now. So, we'll be home in about two miles, and uh, once we get there, we'll have breakfast, and I'll break down how many other runs from this week that I had. Uh, mostly easy runs, kind of a break from track work this week, um, an increase in the long run with 14 miles tomorrow, and um, yeah, the next week's actually going to be kind of a cutback, so we're going to go from a 14 mile long run this weekend to a 10 mile long run next weekend, uh, which will be nice because I actually uh, have some things with friends going on next Sunday, so a little little bit of a break just a small cut back and uh, yeah so talk about this week and uh, looking forward to tomorrow's long run as well it stays a little less humid than this of course <sighs> I guess today I'll spare you wringing out my t-shirt maybe that was a little gross last time but it's humid it's hot and yeah I don't know, gotta take a shower, get some food, and get ready for the day. I'll break down again the rest of what happened this week, some of my other runs. Uh, I ran about 11 miles before today. Um, then with the weekend mileage, I should be around 32 or 33 miles for this week. Uh, if you remember last week, we were around 30, so just building up slowly from there. That's why when I do some of my track work or hill repeats, um, it's only like four or five reps right now of 400s. Um, I think I'm doing like four 800s for a track workout also, um, which is a little bit more. But, uh, you know, just got to keep the workouts balanced and, and in ratio with uh, my overall mileage. So as the training block continues and the mileage goes up, some of the reps will go up, the workouts will get a little harder. As my fitness improves, they'll get a little faster. Um, but like I said, it was a fairly boring week, pretty easy runs just some uh, pickups to different tempos along the way on Tuesday and Thursday, so I'll break that down. But for now, just gotta cool off, get some water, and uh, get inside. We just cleaned up because we have family coming over today, and admittedly we haven't done it in a long time, so it looks really nice now. So now that we're all showered off, I'm just going to break down some of the other runs from this week. Um, basically, I'll just show you the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday um, run that I went on. Like I said, you know, nothing crazy this week. Um, no track work, no hill work. Um, just really getting out there and running. Um, and a couple runs that were treated kind of like tempo runs where I started a little easier and then I pick up the pace um, either closer to like my marathon race pace or sometimes even closer to 10k, 5k pace. Um, nothing pushed that hard this week just because of the temperature overall and the humidity that, that kind of was in the air over the last few days. So I'll break that down now. Frankie joined us for the rest of this. So the first one was on Tuesday, and the run on Tuesday was 
Um, I was happy with it. It was just um, kind of a, a tempo run of sorts. Um, average pace was here around, you know, under nine minutes per mile, which is a nice pace for me, but it felt really easy. Um, it was the Tuesday after the last long run of 13 miles. Um, so I was happy that my legs were loose, that everything felt really smooth, that my heart rate was still, you know, low. It wasn't like I was pushing or putting a lot of effort into it. Um, so I just went out to the track with Megan, um, and took a nice little detour out around, you know, kind of the high school area, um, through town a little bit, and then came back and met Megan and did the last lap around the track itself. Um, so that went really well. Um, like I said, you know, picked up the pace throughout each um, each mile of the run, or pretty much consistently just got quicker and quicker. Um, heart rate never took off too crazy or anything like that, so really happy with that on Tuesday. And you can see, um, even towards the end of the run where I'm going, you know, I, I finished with an eight minute mile. Um, my heart rate was still around 148, which is pretty good for me, especially for eight minutes a mile, um, being the third mile in. Um, that's kind of around where I'm hoping to be for the marathon pace, um, you know, once I taper and everything um, in November. So it's a good sign that I'm able to get, you know, days that my legs feel fresh where I can go out um, and just kind of put in a little bit of, a little bit more work, a little bit more pace and still have a, a relatively balanced and, and easy heart rate. On Wednesday, I went out over the bridge, um, and this was, um, you know, a recovery run after the day before, even though everything was pretty easy and level with my heart rate, you know, still put some work into the legs. So this was a nice slow run. It was closer to 10 minutes a mile, um, you know, very easy heart rate and everything. Um, even with the hills, just tried to keep it simple, smooth. Um, like I said, this week isn't full of anything too exciting, so Wednesday was just an easy run. Um, and then we got into Thursday. Um, Thursday was also a day where I just decided, you know, let me pick up the pace a little bit. I felt pretty good. Um, I was wearing the Nike Pegasus 36, I think, for this run. So they're a little bit dead, um, but I wore it because it's kind of a dirt trail. So I wasn't too concerned about, you know, having a lot of cushion or, or bounce or anything like that. Um, but I think it definitely slowed me down um, because it's kind of like gravelly and, and and dirt trail so you can't really get a good push off the ground or anything so as I push the pace a little bit more you can see like with my heart rate and you kind of go out along the railroad and, and down around this curvy and hilly trail um, you know my heart rate was kind of working so you know it was fine again on Thursday just kind of putting a little bit of work in kind of getting some cardio um, but overall the legs felt all right it's just you can definitely see in comparison to Tuesday um, the heat started to pick up, the humidity started to pick up even more, so my body was, you know, reacting and working to that. Um, but again, just, you know, put a little bit more pace, picked it up a tiny bit on Thursday, um, and that, that was that. Friday was a rest day, and then, you know, brought it into the weekend after that, so. The cool thing is once I finished this run, uh, this is down by the Beacon Waterfront, um, there were some people that I guess set up probably once a week or something, or maybe a couple days a week. Um, for this uh, drum circle. So as I was cooling down, um, I just kind of sat down and, and watched the drum circle. <laughs> so I'll play that out in a second uh, as I finish the video. But, uh, you know, overall, you can see too, I'll put here, my mileage is, is steadily increasing. Um, I only started, you know, officially the marathon training block, you know, th I think it was like three or four weeks ago. Um, so everything was just kind of steady. I took one little bit of a down week um, because I think I was actually traveling or something um, on a, one of those weeks and then we went right into the training block and everything's been steadily increasing since so I'm on track, uh, happy with everything, definitely feeling like I'm you know, coming along just fine at this point for my current fitness so we'll continue, we'll keep going, I'll keep documenting what I'm doing and uh, for now I'll flip over to the drum circle and uh, you know, I'll see you tomorrow for the 14 miler.